Okay. So this is the new air conditioning drive system. Uh, for this test, we've hooked it up for, to Sparky. And if we look back at the drive system, I'll engage it. Uh, this is for the Starion. So um, it's all plugged in. All we have to do is wind up this pot and the system will engage. Now we're going to be looking at the shaft. And there she goes. Now it goes quite fast. But for this test, we're just going to wind it right down. And as you can see, if I put pressure on it with my hand, it'll still rotate. So, um, you know, power steering and then air conditioning kicks in and it still rotates at a very similar speed. Um, as I said, this little thing is for adjusting. And we can adjust it to the correct speed for both systems to function properly. And we'll have a manual shutdown. Okay. So, All right, here we starting go. up the top. Okay, so that way. Here we go. First battery bank here. Second battery bank next to it, and possibly slightly lower. Third battery bank right down all the way down here. Then we put a controller on the top there. Yeah. So the first two had eight, and this last one's going to have nine, which makes up the 25 um, batteries that, that we, we need to shove in the front. Yep. Well, I'm glad we went through that. Nice and tight so they don't roll. These are great. Finally got it. Battery management. One on each battery. These are fantastic and essential as not every battery is being born the same. Some may charge a bit quicker than others. Uh, this battery management has a firmware in here that allows us to um, set the high and low tolerance for charging. And you can see, turn around this way. You can see that you've got the input and output there because these things sit in like a daisy chain setup with the master controller. And this goes through the um, firmware which we can program. There's a little PC input in there that we can connect up to. And uh, when charging is done, it trips. And that's what these um, shunt resistors are for. And it says that the battery's done. And I'm going to probably put a little trip lead on there so that we know when it's tripped. And, uh, this is absolutely essential and fantastic and these things sit on my 160 amp hour batteries. So this is happy. Don't like them anyway, they get in your way when you get in the car. Yeah. Man. An wiring job like this. Oh it's no, that is hacked. Yeah, film the film the wiring cluster uh, in there. Get close. Here's the other one. So that's two kilograms. The other one will be fine. The other one will be another two kilograms. Like you yeah. know this. Four kilograms. Three. Three. Three kilograms you just got rid of by taking out those things. Okay. Cable through the subframe and out through the front. This is from the charger which we will put in probably going to put it <laughs> so I'll probably put the Z in there because it's pretty flat although it's quite thick which means yeah we'll keep the back seat finished so it'll go through the subframe out the front that's, that's really good But it's okay, at least you'll get an idea. Right, so that's going to go a lot lower, right? Now I'm going to put a shield in the front. I might actually situate it back over here so I can 
when I put the shield in the front, I can actually direct the airflow down and yep. underneath. Um, but here's the bonus. One, two, three, four, four batteries and maybe a fifth. Mm -hmm.